today I want to talk to you about artificial intelligence because we're in the middle of a absolute massive revolution that people do not quite understand the impact nor the magnitude. This isn't going to be the dot-com boom. This is not going to be the gold rush. This is not going to be the social media rush and TikTok where everybody got rich. This is going to be far, this is going to be far faster and far more dramatic. You see, right now it doesn't really seem like Oh, okay, yeah, you can go online, you can talk to ChatGPT, and you it can do some stuff for you. It's like a new search engine, right? No, it's far more powerful than that. And so today, I want to share with you my experience in artificial intelligence and how I see the world moving and projecting and how you can prevent yourself from being absolutely dominated by artificial intelligence because there's only going to be two classes of people moving forward those who know how to use artificial intelligence and those who don't i know that sounds like a really really drastic statement but you have to understand one key thing artificial intelligence has surpassed human intelligence which means that it's me and a superhero versus you and so i want you to be on this side of the fence so that you don't get caught off guard because I don't know if you've ever if you've seen those new Sora videos from ChatGPT, but those are pretty intense in terms of where we were a year ago to today, right? Artificial intelligence is rapidly multiplying, and so we need to be on the cusp, on the cutting edge of this technological revolution, so that we can get rich off of it, right? We can create generational wealth. We can be good men and good women who leave up an inheritance for our children's children because the powers that be are in an absolute arms race to get to the top it is literally the, the nuclear arms race of artificial intelligence who can get to artificial general intelligence first and whoever does will, will monopolize the entire system and so before we get there we need to make sure we know how to even use basic artificial intelligence, not just like I ask it stuff and it creates little things for me or it answers questions, like how can we use it to make money? Since it's a superhero who doesn't really pick sides, why not we use this superhero to make us a super amount of money? Okay, so artificial intelligence, the primary skill that is going to be involved in artificial intelligence is awareness. I should probably tell you my qualifications. So I'm Jarrett Roten. I'm the founder of leadgen.ai, and that's J-E-N-N. -N. Uh, we are a AI personalized, high volume, one-to-one -one marketing architecture for business-to-business -business, uh, entrepreneurs and, and businesses. You can do B2C. It's just not really recommended unless you have kind of like an influence play. So I'm, I, I digress. So artificial intelligence itself. We need to have the skill of awareness development. Okay, what is awareness development? It's knowing the questions that we need to ask to get closer to the truth. Okay, so awareness development is understanding and knowing and being aware of the questions that we need to ask in order to get closer and closer and closer to the truth. Now, what's going to end up happening is that we're going to realize, oh, wait a second, we don't, sometimes we don't even know what questions to ask. Okay, this is going to force us to stretch. So for artificial intelligence itself, artificial intelligence, uh, if you've ever used it, you're like, this is pretty dumb sometimes, right? You ever gotten an answer like, that's not what I asked. Or it keeps kicking you back the same thing over and over again. You're like, that's, I don't understand why you just keep saying the same thing over and over again because oftentimes we're not prompting it right, okay? So we need to develop in ourselves what we're actually asking in order to be clear on the goal and the outcome that we're desiring. So let's say that I want to set up, um, let's say I want to set up a server. So I have the ability to go in and ask ChatGPT, hey, can you teach me how to set up an Ubuntu server um, for a, a web application of some sort? And it'll kick back a bunch of stuff. But we need to be specific. 
right? Hey, I want to start a server so that I can create a web app that will allow me to do X, Y, or Z. Why? Because when we dial in what we want artificial intelligence to actually figure out for us, it becomes a lot faster. And then you get in lockstep and you get into a groove. And next thing you know, you have a full-blown web application uh, with almost no coding or development experience. Wait, Jared, what do you mean? I can build software with ChatGPT and I don't even have need any coding or programming experience? Exactly. So I built everything that I've designed so far literally just hand in hand with ChatGPT. And it's fantastic where you have the capacity to do millions upon millions of outreaches month in, month out, and everything is AI personalized. So yes, you with no tech experience, no coding experience can use ChatGPT and please pay the $20. It'll be the best $20 you ever spent in your entire life. Don't use chat GPT three and a half. Just pay the 20 bucks. It's worth it. It's super worth it. Otherwise you'll go chat GPT is borderline a vegetable. Upgrade for the $20. It's literally like having a developer in your pocket. What's going to end up happening with this? It's not always going to get it right. So what does that require of us? Stay with me. Awareness. Awareness of the questions that we need to be asking. And so what this is going to produce in us is self-awareness, yes, but resolve and persistence and expanding our, keep coming back to the word awareness, our like repository, our treasure, like who we are, it will keep stretching and stretching and stretching. So what's interesting is that the people who ask the best questions even today are the richest people in the world, right? Somebody who asks really, really good questions that are the right questions will ultimately become richer than the person who doesn't even know what questions to ask or thinks in terms of statements like, oh, I can't do this as opposed to how can I do this? Oh, I don't know anyone or how can I find the right person to help me with this, right? It's a complete mindset a mindset shift in awareness. And so this little step, it's not so optional anymore, in my opinion. I mean, I guess if you just want to be, I don't know, unemployed, or you want to be in construction or something like that, like you want to work with your hands the rest of your life, all right, cool up until we get robots who will do it. But like if we want to escape the beast slave system, we want to create true wealth for ourselves with without the experience, frankly, like without the experience necessary to create some of the things that are going to be created by nobodies, right? Ain't nobody heard of me. You don't know who Jared Roten is, but you will. And what's going to be hilarious is it's going to be, well, Jared created an AI tech company that's worth billions of dollars. And he started it all with a $20 subscription to ChatGPT. Why? Why are these things possible? And it's, I'm just a regular person. Okay. Like I, there's nothing really special about me other than I have a incredible uh, attention to detail. And I refuse to quit. Those are like, I'm willing to die for it. If there was like something special about me, I'm willing to die for what I believe in. And I'm incredibly disciplined. So if you take these same features, right? And you apply them to awareness, like being disciplined enough to expand our awareness, to learn the questions that we don't even know that we should be asking. Let me repeat that again. There are questions today that you need answered that could change everything for you that you don't even know you need to be asking. How do I know that? Because I thought I asked really good questions until I started reading books like The No BS Guide to Marketing to the Affluent by Dan Kennedy. Then I realized I had no idea. I then 
answered things in here that I didn't even know I should be asking. Partner it with his magnetic marketing book um, and you have pretty much a business. You will be ahead of 99% of entrepreneurs. How do I know this? Because I've worked with enough startups to know that most people don't have a gosh darn idea what they're doing. Awareness, right? So we take this awareness and this understanding like, okay, do AI is going to change everything. Like it's going to shift the very fabric of our reality. What should I be doing? Number one, stay up to date with the large language models, right? These are going to be the things that are going to really have the largest impact um, in terms of our daily life because it's going to be the closest to um, AI general intelligence. So really stay up to date on the large language models, Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, these, these sort of, um, these, these places, right? Learn about APIs and building integrations. Again, you can ask ChatGPT. Remember, pay the 20 bucks for your premium a monthly, monthly subscription and to ask it about, about that. Ask it about different code and stuff like that, right? We, it's, it's overwhelming. I will speak to that firsthand. It is overwhelming the amount of stuff that there is to learn about chat GPT and uh, programming and stuff like that. Just do it. You will be thankful because it won't be like, you'll just be a year ahead of somebody like studying a year of AI will put you a hundred years ahead of somebody behind you. Right. And one day when I say it's going to be too late, it's going to be, let me give you a, an example. Okay, so the way that AI works, think of it like a Pac-Man, right? Pac-Man, he eats the little dots. Except in the game, he eats the dot, nothing really happens, right? He just like keeps going and he goes up the maze and he eats all the dots. Okay, well, the way that AI works is that every single time that the Pac-Man eats a dot, it gets a little bit bigger. And so it can eat more and then it gets bigger and it can eat more up until it's just absolutely consuming, you know, I, universes, you know, planets, galaxies of knowledge. Okay. This is you and your technical ability with AI. Because when you get into this space, you're going to be so much further ahead of people because you're already exposed to it. So you know what to look for. You know what to, what to, to smell, what, what, what the right smell is. You, you'll know what to, to listen for because you already have the foundation. So you get through the overwhelming scary part and then you just kind of cruise, you just ebb and flow in AI and you listen for the things that can absolutely change the world and then get on those. How can I use this to make money? How can I use this to make an affluent person's life easier? The nice thing about the affluent is that most of them have businesses or they invest. And so if you can figure out how to use AI to help somebody grow, scale, um, make their life easier, the less time investment, less management, if you can do things that will help affluent people have more time to spend their money, you get to have access to some of that money so that one day you can become that person who's trying to figure out how to spend as little time as possible so that you can have as much time to spend your money. Does that make sense? So with AI, sign up for some AI newsletters. Um, AI tools is a good one. Techspresso, I don't love it. Like, I think it's okay. Um, just find a bunch just sign up for as many AI newsletters as you can and then stay up to date with OpenAI and what they're doing because I think that's the easiest kind of entry for most people. Um, I know there's a whole Elon Musk thing that's happening with it, but by and large, like I recommend that as just like the starter AI and you can do a lot with it, right? Like I use ChatGPT4 Turbo for all of our one-to-one -one personalization. 
most companies won't even integrate with ChatGPT4 Turbo. They are either ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT3.5 Turbo. Well, the difference is that ChatGPT4 is three times as expensive. So ChatGPT4 Turbo is three times less expensive than ChatGPT4 and it's better. But you wouldn't know this. You wouldn't know these things unless you go in and have the awareness of, okay, this is how ChatGPT works. Oh, there are different language models. Oh, ChatGPT does more than just like log in and, and type in like, oh, they have like vision and they have Dolly and they, okay, cool. What else can I do with this? So my recommendation is not to drink from the fire hose, right? Like don't be like, I got to learn everything in one day. Like just continue to expose yourself to it. Because even if you are, a, if you spend one day on in on artificial intelligence just as a whole, you will literally be ten years ahead of somebody who just never steps in. Oh, it's too early. I got an email like that. Oh, I'm so, sorry that you invested so much money into into such an early stage of of AI. Bro, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I want to be in now. Because all it's going to take is one move, like one move from the big players and everything changes. And then it's going to be a mad dash to try to get acquainted. I won't have to do that. My company won't have to do that. We're not going to have to have a hard pivot. We're not going to have to figure out how to put things in our business. We're already doing it. I'm already doing it. I'm already optimizing. We're already looking for other ways that we can create an even better software suite. Like right now, we're basically a full service, you know, AI personalization marketing architecture. 99% done for you. And it's only going to get better from here. What's cool is that if you are an entrepreneur currently, the better that you get with AI, the better that you can ask AI, like, hey, look, like these are some of the bottlenecks that I'm facing. Like, how would you go about solving them? Or, hey, do you think, can you show me how to create this tool? So for example, like for me, I had, because there was no one on the market, like there was a, a tool that for a very limited time was using chat GPT for turbo. I was like, okay, awesome, sick. Like this is going to be it. Perfect. But then their integration broke and then they never brought it back. Well, that's not good for my business because I'm not going to spend three times more money or seven times more money really for less, um, for number one, less, less capability, but number two, like there's no control. I, ha I have no control over whether or not this company is ever going to get their act together and, and re-put it together. And so I just asked ChatGPT, hey, ChatGPT, like, can we create an integration for ourselves? And ChatGPT walked me through it. It walked me through how to set up a ChatGPT4 Turbo uh, API integration so that our clients can continue to send high volume messages. Absolutely personalized. Like I have all of our messages pull from your ideal prospects or your ideal client's website. And it goes in and then it throws in a specific detail. Have the ability to pull for, from social media too, if that's a desire. But now I'm in control. I don't have to rely on another business for me to make money. So now we can really leverage technology in ways that we wouldn't be able to previously. Because without ChatGPT, I would have never been able to set this up. I don't have the coding knowledge. I don't have the programming knowledge. It would have taken me like probably a year or two to figure out what I needed to do. Or I needed to hire somebody. Well, when you're bootstrapping, you can't just like drop cash on a developer. And I don't like making people work for free. I'm not a slaver like a lot of people in the industry are. And so ChatGPT walked me through it for $20 a month. Not too shabby for a company that is going to do a lot of money. So again, that's www.leadgen.ai. That's the website. Um, there's a cool resource on there if you are in business. The seven deadly tech mistakes uh, most entrepreneurs are making that are absolutely 
killing their email deliverability. It's a quick resource. Definitely a, a good read. You should pick that up. I hope that you are beginning to understand that like awareness is going to be such a valuable skill moving forward that it's actually going to be the determining factor of whether we're going to be ruled by people with artificial intelligence or if we're going to rule and save up and create that uh, inheritance for our children's children and be that good man and good woman that God was all, has always destined us to be. I appreciate you guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I pray that your riches are mighty, that your wealth is immeasurable, and that your prosperity is generational. By the blood and in the mighty name of Jesus, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.